Acts chapter 17, and we're going to pick it up in verse 16. So Acts chapter 17, picking it up in verse 16. As you're turning there, let me just tell you a story to kind of get the wheels turning. Uh, I was a teenager, and a friend of mine invited me to a youth group. At this point, I'm kind of a disenfranchised, angry kid that grew up in the church, wanted nothing to do with Christianity, and especially nothing to do with youth group, right? I was way past that, and I thought it was completely immature, wanted nothing to do with it. I felt like everyone was just uninformed and foolish, and so I agreed to go with my friend to this youth group because I wanted to show everybody how ignorant they were. And sure enough, a lot of it just met my expectations, right? They were bobbing for apples and spelling joy out with their bodies, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, these people even, like, know what they believe is ridiculous. And, um, so after uh, the message and some game times, I, I, I went up to the uh, youth leader who was a, a guest speaker that night, and I just told him, oh, you're dumb, and this is stupid, and what about the problem of evil, and how can you believe the inconsistencies of the Bible, and blah, 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 and what about dinosaurs, right? Dinosaurs, come on. And so uh, we sat and talked for hours and hours and hours. This poor sweet wife, Jackie, was uh, there until about 1.30, and then she went and sat in the car and fell asleep, I think. And uh, he stayed with me till about 2 o'clock in the morning, and he in many ways, introduced me to Jesus. And so my question is for you this morning, if you are a believer, if you follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior, who introduced you to Jesus? Was it parents? Was it friends? Was it a pastor or leader? Uh, My wife was six years old, and she can still remember this. She went to Awana's in the little Bible message part of the evening, and they talked about sin. And she remembers thinking, I have been disobedient to my parents. I have lied to my sister. I need Jesus. My father-in-law um, was in the hospital. Um, all, he almost died having uh, spinal meningitis. And he was in the hospital for weeks on end. The TV was on. And he watched a Billy Graham sermon. And Billy Graham introduced him to Jesus. He realized he needed to be made right with God. So who was it and what was it for you